Betty and Barney Hill, the most famous alien abduction case. The case of Betty and Barney Hill became the classic case of humans being abducted and examined by aliens. Their story was covered in detail by John Q. Fuller in the book Interrupted Journey, 1966, and was even made into a television movie, 1975, with James Earl Jones and Estelle Parsos as Barney and Betty. On September 19, 1961, Betty, a social worker, and Barney, a postal clerk, were returning home to New Hampshire from a short vacation in Canada when they noticed a bright object in the night sky. Barney stopped the car and used binoculars to get a better look at the object. As he studied it, the lights given off by it made the man understand that it was a flying disc of a well-defined shape, moving on an irregular trajectory in the moonlit sky. Five alien creatures kidnapped the two. Fascinated, Barney advanced into the field near the road, where he could see what appeared to be portholes from behind which he was being watched and turned by some beings. The feeling of being followed scared Barney, so the man ran back to the car, resuming his journey home. Then, as if obeying an inner urge, he turned onto a side road where five humanoid-looking creatures blocked their path. Suddenly, unable to control their movements, Betty and Barney were pulled from the car and, in a trance state, transported into the flying saucer by the humanoid creatures. The two husbands were kidnapped for two hours. The sensational details of the story of the two were later revealed under hypnosis as the couple could not remember anything of the almost two hours they had been in the power of the aliens. According to the information revealed after the hypnosis sessions, Betty and Barney were brought unharmed to their car with the mental command to forget the kidnapping experience they had gone through. The UFO then rose into the air and disappeared from sight, leaving the two to continue their journey, having forgotten the whole incident. The hypnosis sessions begin. Perhaps the remarkable encounter would never have come to light had it not been for two factors. First, the Hills began having strange and disturbing dreams that they could not understand, and second, they could not explain the missing hours on the way home. Betty decided to seek help from a psychiatrist friend, who suggested that the memory of the missing hours might return with time, perhaps in just a few months. But the details of the inexplicable interruption remained fragmented in the back of the mind until the Hills began attending weekly hypnosis sessions with Dr. Benjamin Simon, a Boston psychiatrist. Under his supervision, the couple revealed an amazing series of physical and mental examinations performed by a group of extraterrestrial doctors. Betty and Barney's individual accounts coincided in most respects, although neither knew what the other had revealed until much later. Essentially, both were saying that they had been treated by extraterrestrials in the same way that human scientists examine laboratory animals. Although the couple had been given hypnotic suggestions by their captors to forget the experience, the induced amnesia was apparently broken when they were rehypnotized by Dr. Simon. The Mystery of the Star Map The alien medical examination to which the Hills were subjected has been heavily discussed and their highly publicized experience likely served as a prototype for thousands of other individuals who claimed to have been abducted by extraterrestrials and subjected to physical examinations. But the singular aspect that could be fundamental in giving credibility to the Hill story is the star map that Betty claims was shown to her by aliens while aboard the UFO. Under hypnosis, in 1964, three years after the alleged abduction, Betty, who had extremely little knowledge of astronomy, drew the map with remarkable skill so that the drawing could be compared with star maps executed by professionals. Additionally, Betty's map highlighted the positions of two stars, named Zeta I and Zeta II Reticuli, apparently the home base of the space travelers who had abducted them. Interestingly, the existence of the two stars, Zeta I and Zeta II Reticuli, was not confirmed by astronomers until 1969, eight years after the Hill abduction experience and five years after Betty recalled that he had seen the star map on board the UFO. To further support the authenticity of Betty Hill's claims that recalling that map was a reminder that she had been given to see an artifact created by an extraterrestrial intelligence, astronomers revealed that the two magnitude stars 5, Zeta I and Zeta II reticles are not visible to observers at a latitude more northerly than that of Ciudad de Mexico. 1976 Stanford, Kentucky Kidnappings 
While America was still reeling from the Travis Walton kidnapping, three women were kidnapped near Stanford, Kentucky. Heading towards Houstonville on Highway 78, they suddenly see a shiny, red object in the clear night sky, turning a pleasant evening into a night of terror. Read about this in-depth investigation here. 1976 Kidnaps of Allagash The Allagash Waterways incident reportedly involved multiple witnesses. Four artists were enjoying a canoe trip on the Allagash Road when their pleasant evening turned into a nightmare. A nightmare of lost time and alien abduction. At first there is only time and then oblivion. Eventually the connection is made and few details are known in this compelling alien abduction case. 1976 The Kidnapping of the Forests of Deckmont Robert Taylor was 61 years old when he had the most unusual encounter of his life. He worked as a forester all his adult life in the Deckmont Forests of Livingston, West Lothian, Scotland. On the morning of Friday, November 9, 1979, he and his red setter rounded a corner on a forest path and saw an incredible sight, a UFO. The object appeared to be moving right over the forest. They made no sound and seemed motionless. 1985 Kidnapping Whitley Streber Noted writer Whitley Streber will be kidnapped by strangers in his isolated cabin in New York during the Christmas season of 1985. He encountered four types of extraterrestrial beings who subjected him to medical tests. 1987 Ilkley Moore Alien A police officer named Philip Spencer claims to have taken a photo of an alien being. If true, it is one of the few in existence. The eerie Ilkley Moor in Yorkshire, England is said to hold the secret of a strange creature encountered early one morning. Godfrey was scared, but he runs after the creature, taking a photo. See it here. Through hypnosis, he remembered a flying flying object and an alien abduction. 1988 father and son were kidnapped. John Salter Jr and his son are kidnapped by benevolent aliens. One of the few cases where alien abduction turned out to be a good thing. The medical experiments have a happy ending with improved health for the two abductees. 1989, the kidnapping of Linda Cortile Napolitano. An extremely compelling case of extraterrestrial abduction is that of Linda Napolitano. Napolitano claimed she was abducted by so-called greys, who floated her from a closed bedroom window in an overlapping UFO. As time went on, more eyewitnesses came forward to support their claims. Several bystanders, including a well-known politician, actually see the incident. 